जी पाना है माकी कोई साथ की बस तो आई हाँ कोट दिन ओह ये तो शेयर तो कोई दिशु मैं मैं तो जस्ट शेयर कोई दिशु कुटे कुटे पढ़ा ही दिशु And we are back with the second match of the event. It's Team PRDD versus Team CSGO. The second match of Team CSGO and the first match of Team Power Rangers DD. So the map is Breeze and it's probably the biggest map of the game. If not Pearl, Breeze is the biggest map. And let's see what agents they have chosen. So Team CSGO have decided to go with two duelists. The best duelists according to me, Jet and Reyna, a smoker viper, Sova and Chamber. And Team PRDD have decided to go with Sova, Chamber, Viper, Cypher and Reyna. Okay, that's starting to decide again. They're changing the duelists and it's double duelists, double sentinel and a smoker. They have not 
chosen any initiator, which is interesting considering the map which requires an initiator to scan out all the uh, enemies out there. So let's see what they lock on to. Okay, so they have chosen an initiator, so they will go with the same comp. Both the teams have the same comp, so it will be a team difference, clear team difference. So 10 so seconds like onto the match team. starts. And let's talk about the event once again. So Technophilia 2.0 is the second edition of the Tech Extravaganza organized by Royal Global University. So we are starting on with the match and it's team CSGO which will be defending first and team PRDD will be attacking first so let's see what the matchup goes on and it will be a clear team defense because, because both the teams have chosen the exact same agents Jet, Reyna, Viper, Sova and Chamber. They have gone with two duelists, a sentinel, a smoker and an initiator. So yeah, and it seems like they are trying to push down to A. Voxic getting his position up to the tube and let's see 13 seconds remaining of the match so as i was saying technophilia 2.0 is the second edition of the tech extravaganza of royal global university and it's huge there are many events going on in the university but this is the flagship event right because it's gaming it's valorant and valorant has become so much popular increase the esports scene and as you can see boxic has spotted down ransom and ransom with his incredible jump peaks and i think so accusa will go on and give him cover but Notorious did his spot on the Viper and the Sova Dart comes on and it's instantly breaking down by the opponent Viper and Miraki tries to get on to the tube and Akusa gets on Voxic with an incredible one tap already becomes a 4v5 for the attackers and let's see if the defenders can actually win this round and change their fate to go into the grand finals of the event Here. trying to jiggle peek and Akusa seems to have Spotted on broccoli and just trying to ping the position well calls in cover and the attacker seems to be and the attacker seem to be going to the B side but no they're just hovering on to both of the lobbies of the sides and 40 seconds remaining on the map let's see what the attackers are planning to do well greedy has a good position because the A site is empty and, and they have realized it because they're still there going in and phantom gets on a uh, kill to notorious and greedy instantly trades down phantom 3v4 and gets revealed tries to get on the plan but it's only 97 hp becomes 65 hp because of the sova that broccoli gets on to accuse a bake it a 3v3 and miraki gets on to greedy csgo gets on to uot ransom on to broccoli and it's over it's over for team prdd for the first round and csgo gets the first round the pistol the most important round in both of the halves in the game of valorant is the pistol and CSGO, well, they each get a single kill and single opponent. So, yeah, it's an eco for the team of PRDD and CSGO have an upper hand on this round because it's an eco for team PRDD. Let's see if they decide to buy. So, considering the eco, Broccoli and Greedy on the first round have gotten two kills, but let's see if they want to buy, no, buy or not. But no, they are deciding to save because they have less economy remaining and team of csgo have one kill each well this round is starting let's see where they decide to attack or where they just want to push in and finish the round easy Voxic takes on the orb and i think so someone spots there are four attackers on the b side and reina reina just lurking onto the a side and ransom i think so he has spotted someone on the uh, b elbow position but yeah he's just hovering onto the mid section we can see on the map that they are very much scattered away. The attackers are just taking on position. Akusa with yet another kill onto Voxic. Make it a 2-0 duel between Akusa and Voxic. Already a 4v5 for the attackers. Well, the exact scenario happened in the pistol round. And Akusa decides not to buy a gun but to buy util and the full shield. 
So and Ransom gets on to Notorious, make it a 3v5. CSGO gets on to Greedy, make it a 2v5. Meraki gets on to UOT, make it a 1v5. Becomes difficult for Ransom, but let's see. Okay, Broccoli gets on to CSGO. Doesn't make it a flawless round, but Akiusa gets the instant trade and the defenders win the second round. It's 2 to 0 for the team of CSGO. Well, let's talk about the map of Priest. Wow, man, what a beautiful map it is. Standing beside the beautiful ocean. And probably my favorite map of the game with... Because this map requires constant aim difference and constant... If you even use the util, if you don't have aim in this map, just because of the long range weapons this map uses, it's of no use. And we're going on to the third round where the attackers have, the, have bought the guns. But the defenders have saved this round. Let's see if they can manage to get the anti-eco. The drone has been broken. I think they will try to get a five-man push onto A and the Soba dart comes in and instantly gets revealed. Notorious gets on to Ransom. The first kill, the first, first blood for the attackers and instantly make it a 3v, 2v5, pardon me. Notorious gets on to the last kill and Accuser trying to make the lurk work. Probably has saved because of the operator diff which is incredible. Just incredible. And the TP comes out and Accuser gets on to Broccoli, make it a 4v2. But it's interesting to see because it's... One enemy remaining. Okay, make it a 4v1. Akusa gets on to another one tap onto Greedy. Akusa just putting on crispy shots. Gets the Vandal. Gets the third kill. Will this be a 1v5 situation? Let's see. He doesn't have any... Okay, the trade comes out and Moxie gets his third kill. The first round goes on to Team PRGD. Well, Akusa, come on, man. Chill out a little bit. For a moment, I thought that you would just won the round for Team CSGO. It was an incredible shot, incredible one taps accuser. up. And the Sheriff one taps are the most satisfying thing. Being a gamer, I understand it's the most satisfying thing. If you get a one tap onto the enemy, you just become mesmerized at yourself. And let's see, they have, they have buys this round and Akusa, as I mentioned, has gone for the operator instantly in the fourth round. So yeah, let's see whether he gets the first pick or not. CSGO trying to spot someone onto B main. Akusa holding on to the mid you section play, from Nest. Play. And all right, Broccoli has opened up his alt. And let's see, it's going to be another A push it seems, but Phantom is doing an incredible job holding on to the site. Puts on the Viper Spit up here. They're just hovering on to A main. All the members of all the participants of uh, Team PRDD are just hovering on to A main. Whether this will be an A push or not, we have to see. Or they are just waiting for the time to be wasted or uh, waiting for the defenders to rotate. Let's see about that. Akusa gets the kill onto Voxic. It's a 3 0 duel right now. My god, Akusa, you're just destroying Voxic out there. Just give him a break. Becomes a 4v5 yet another time. Well, let's see if he can be traded out because. I think so they have sensed that they might be going to be but they're still just hovering and I think so Sova might be getting no no CSGO gets a kill on to greedy and it's a 3v5 but CSGO is very much low on HP just 8 HP left but still it's a 5v3 has the man advantage and broccoli trying to spot someone and yes CSGO spots on broccoli and Akusa gets the kill on to broccoli with all the damage and One yes CSGO remaining. will get the heal and phantom gets the kill on to notorious Already a 5v1 situation and Yuwati just trying to push Ten down tube 2. I don't know, maybe he can save because it's just 4 seconds left on the map. And the 4th round goes on to Team CSGO. The defenders just get the 4th round. It's 3 to 1 and Yuwati does the correct decision of saving the gun because they have to go for an eco this round because of their broken economy. But yeah, let's see. Voxic has full buy. Let's see if he goes with the full buy. Yes, he does go with the full buy, but the other members... Alright. I think three of the members have tried to get the full buy, but the other three don't have any money left. I think so Notorious will try to get on the ultimate top to uh, switch on his ultimate, because of which he has taken a full shield. Thanks. So yeah, the matchup is becoming interesting between CSGO and PRDD, because CSGO is just destroying with all the first bloods they're taking. Akiosa coming first, and messing up the dash, just going into the site. Let's see the match of CSGO and Accusa just together. And Voxy gets onto Accusa for the first time but gets traded out instantly by CSGO. A perfect Reynard if out here. Gets onto the kill of Yoti and Greedy takes the trade. 
It's a 3v3 situation out there and the ult is just coming up. Okay, he gets on some damage to the opponent jet. They are just holding backside. Every player of PRDD is holding backside. Gets revealed and the shock darts will come in way to give maximum damage. And Ransom gets on to Greedy, Phantom to Notorious and Miraki to Broccoli to finish up the attackers. It's a 4-1 scoreline. Well, 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 that was an incredible, that was an incredible retake, I must say, because they just lost two of the top fraggers of the team, but still they managed to get the retake and they just win the round for the team of CSGO. And yes, Accusa will get onto the top, get the first bloods, but yeah, Voxic won that for 1v1 duel because Accusa just messed up, uh, messed up the dash out there. But yeah, let's see, interesting matchup. The second match of the league stage. The next match, as I mentioned, the next match will be Team PRDD versus Team Puck Stars, and the winner of the match, uh, after that, the winner of the match will be calculated, and the ACS of the teams, combined ACS of the teams will be calculated, and the team difference to get onto the spot, onto the, uh, get onto the spot in the finals, the grand finals of the event. Greedy's drone coming inside and tagging in Mirage. And yeah, I think it's Jodius. And an incredible one tap with the marshal to ransom. Well, well, well. CSGO gets on to Voxic. Second Rena riff of the game. Broccoli gets on to Accusa. Make it a 4v3. I think this might be the second round which the attackers might get a thrifty. I don't know. Let's see if they manage to get onto the guns which the opponent team has. I think so. They have a fair chance of getting on the match. Getting on the round, pardon me. And yes, Phantom gets on to Greedy, becomes a 3v3. Phantom is wonderfully holding the A side since the first round itself. And two of the defenders are in the tube, whereas Phantom is holding the A side. The B side being clear, and I think so the attackers have sensed this, and they are rotating onto the B side. But Chamber just waiting on for them. And Nest, I don't think so they have idea that they have rotated. And I think they will get the mid benefit. I well, well, Broccoli just holding on to the nest area and Yoati will be planting the bomb, Spike gets the plant. Planted. Mentioning again, it's a 3v3 situation, anything can be done. And if the retake is possible, well, it's just, it will be just amazing for the team of CSGO to get oh, such, such brilliant, brilliant retakes out there. But yeah, you ought to, you ought to whiffing all the sheriff shots, even Miraki whiffing all the vandal shots, and this was interesting. All right, sometimes we whiff, sometimes we get on the one taps, but it's fine. And the retake comes in for the team of CSGO, and it's the fifth round for the team of CSGO, the sixth round to be over. It's five to one. Well, CSGO is just destroying team PRDD right here. Well, they are attacking. This is an attack favored map. I don't know what PRDD are planning to do because I think so. They should take a time out and think out their strats because clearly it's not working. And it's one to five in there attacking because it's an attack favored map. They can't do much in defending, even if they, even if they try to uh, do their best. But yeah, let's see what happens. Phantom trying to hold on to the A site yet another time. All the attackers in the A lobby. Notorious waiting for the screen to be down. And I think so. He won't spot out Jet, but... Alright, let's see whether they have the matchup. But CSGO and Accusa. Just the duelist combo of the defender side. Just doing an amazing job holding the site. Holding everything. Accusa with the operator. Opens up the tube door and closing it instantly sensing everything and ransom gets the kill onto greedy well that was not a good peek by ransom and tries to get the one tap csgo but cannot notorious wins the 1v1 duel instead 4v4 situation it is well the attackers have lost their initiators one of the most important aspects of the game one of the most important agents of the game the sova of the attackers is dead and boxing gets the kill onto accusa make it a 3v4 for the defenders and I think so he'll get onto the ult. Let's see, let's spectate whether Voxic can win the match for the attackers. The second match, so, sorry, the second round for the attackers and Voxic tries to, Voxic tries to fake. 
Well, it might be an interesting timing because Ransom is just holding on and as expected gets the kill onto Boxic. Make it a 3v3. The spike has been planted in the B side. But yeah, they have been incredible in doing the retakes the previous two rounds. Let's see if they can just win the round again because the Viper Spit has come up and it's difficult for the defenders to get inside because they'll instantly get low in HP once they get ins inside the Viper Spit. And well, let's see Notorious just holding on to the side and waiting on the A main and putting on Notorious getting on Phantom, getting on the trace and Miraki gets on two kills. Let's see whether the retake comes in or not. I don't think so. They have time. Yeah. Man, that was, in, that was amazing, but they don't have time. The time difference just being one second and one millisecond gets the second round of Team PRDD. Well, the Vipers ultimate just made the round easier for team for the team of PRDD, but they have to remember they won't have a second ultimate for the Viper. At least for another seven kills or seven orbs, which Yachty has to collect. And let's see the uh, let's see the kill, kills difference between both of the teams. We can see that Yachty hasn't gotten a single kill till now. But well, let's hope for the best. Let's hope. Uh, what the team has decided and Accusa with 8 kills, Miraki with 8, CSGO with 7, Ransom with 5 and Phantom with 4. Whereas here Voxic with 5, Notorious 5, Brokaw with 3, Greedy with 2 and UOT with 0. And they have entered the A side, they have just rushed onto the A side and Voxic gets the kill onto CSGO, Arena dip out here. Voxic gets a second kill onto Ransom, make it a 3v5 for the defenders. I think the positioning of Miraki and CSGO might be different and Phantom trying to just spot on Yo Oti who's camping behind backside hand because of the vipers and it's a viper give out of Yo Oti still didn't, didn't manage to get a kill make it a 2v3 for, two for the attackers Phantom gets on the kill to Voxic fair time left to defuse this bomb Notorious get fan, gets Phantom Akusa gets Notorious uh, 1v2 for the defenders will he try to get no the ultimate comes up and I don't think so he will have time well, they had managed to get incredible retakes, but now they're just struggling with the retakes. But the rush has been successful for Team PRDD since the last two rounds. And the score here is 5 to 3, 8 rounds completed. And we are very much close to the end of the first half. So let's see how the matchup becomes interesting out here. Continuing with the ninth round, it's already a 4v4 and yes, Notorious gets on to Accusa. I think so, it will be a thrifty round. Ransom gets on to Broccoli, make it a 3v3, but I think so, Notorious is very much low on HP. He's just 45 HP, but will try to get on the round for the attackers. They have been good since the last two rounds, but CSGO gets Notorious with the 3v2, make it a 3v1. Ransom gets the third kill on to Greedy, gets the fourth kill, just missing the ace by one kill. But amazing stuff by Ransom. He gets four kills on the ninth round and it's the sixth round for the team of CSGO. Well, I'm wondering one thing. If Team CSGO manages to get the last three rounds, the scoreline would be 9-3. to three. And in Valorant, we know what 9-3 to three means. It's the curse. And Team PRDD will have a very fair chance of making a comeback considering it's a curse. But yeah, let's see if CSGO makes a tactical throughout there. We don't know. We never know what happens next. So yeah, another save for the attackers due to the broken economy. And CSGO has you want been to play? Let's play. scintillating all throughout the match. It's very much amazing how they have defended an attack favored map so brilliantly. I think so they'll try to spot onto there. And Ransom will get the TP out here. Well, trying to spot someone on Emin doesn't find someone. 
Phantom just holding that exact same position since the first round and it's amazing that Phantom is just showing so much uh, patience and just wants to desperately win this match to get the spot onto the grand finals and as expected Miraki gets the first kill to walk sick because of the gun difference and make it a 4v5 for ready. the attackers Akusa gets onto the kill of Notorious, a jet diff out here, 3v5 Broccoli gets onto CSGO, make it a 3v4 Well, Broccoli has his Chambers ultimate, the Chambers operator Let's see whether he can make full use of it and win the round for Team PRDB they have entered the site and they're plan planting and I think so they'll go for another retake. Akusa with his lurk out there. Well, will he get spotted by the chamber strap? Let's see if he gets spotted. Then might be a problem because there... Yes, he Hot sees inside. it. Gets the kill on to... You want to get the kill on to properly. The third kill for Akusa. And it's a 4v1. I think so he will try. No. Gets on the kill to Akusa. Kill to accuser because of 20 HP and gets traded out by Greedy as Soba different. Make the score 7 3, giving the operator, giving the ult orb to ransom. Well, they have just been incredible on retakes. I've been mentioning since the second round, I think. Well, it's becoming difficult for Team PRDD. It's really, really worrying for Team PRDD because. Even if they lose the match, they have another match, but if the ACS of the match is low, it will be a very big problem for them. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope they can make a good comeback out here. The scoreline at the current moment is 7 to 3. 10 rounds of the first half have, com have completed. Two rounds remaining. Well, Greedy just light. takes out his owl drone to spot on the enemies on the B side because they're getting easy entry on B side. But the thing which they have to concentrate is not making a successful retake for the team of CSGO. The drone gets bro broken by CSGO, and I think so. CSGO and Akusa will play together the Reina and Jet combo. The Reina and Jet combo becoming very much. Dangerous and Akusa gets onto the kill of Notorious. Another jet diff. Yeah. Akusa just winning our hearts with all the 1v1 duels he's taking and brilliant topping skills, brilliant one tapping skills on the first three rounds. And and I think so they'll try to take mid control where Woxic, Greedy will try to spot someone in the mid section, I think, so, and the, in the nest. Yeah, he whiffs the shot, but Ransom gets onto the kill of Woxic. Doesn't get one, gets another. Make it a 3v5 for the attackers. Becoming difficult for them to win this round. Already a 3v5. Let's see if they come up with any other strat to just make left. the round work. 30 seconds left on the timer. And let's see. Greedy, Broccoli and Uwati. Again, instead, instead of going on to it, again coming on to the B side. And in CSGO whiffing the shots. I think they, he, had a, uh, he had a minor lag. But make it a 2v4 for the attackers and Viper Spit comes in. Well, well, well. Ransom just whips all the shots of his pocket deagle. And Greedy gets on the kill to Ransom. Makes it a 2v3. One enemy remaining. The timing just been incredible. Miraki gets on the kill of Yoati and Greedy. And it's the eighth round for the team of CSGO. Brilliantly retake. Uh, retake in the site. I think it's the fifth time they have done a successful retake onto the site and it's just amazing Last how they're just the allowing them to come onto the B site and they will in incredibly retake it. The last round before the first half, before the swap. Well, well, it looks very much difficult for PRD to make a comeback right here. But if CSGO gets a kill, I meant CSGO gets a round, I mentioned it earlier. The 9-3 curse, it's a dangerous curse in Valorant. If they get the curse, I think so they might get uh, a benefit of over it but let's see i think they might go for a tactical throw just kidding they won't do it because it's a tool well phantom coming up with his vipers ultimate out here and i think so he will get spotted but the attackers will make a desperate move to get any round taken up here i have the spike and they haven't even spotted a member. Phantom just holding A site with his Vipers ultimate. 
Akusa holding tube and CSGO just holding the B side. Voxit will try to get an entry onto the B side, but CSGO is holding out there and gets the kill onto Voxit. Ransom gets the kill onto Greedy. Again, a 3v5 situation for the attackers. Well, looks like a 9 3. Yeah, I spam the chat as 9 3 curse and. UOT gets on to CSGO, Ransom gets on to UOT, the trade comes in, becomes a 2v4 for the attackers and the plant will come in. They are planning for a retake yet another time. But yeah, they let, let them plant and Ransom gets the kill onto properly. Doesn't whip this time and Phantom gets the last kill onto Notorious. And the team of CSGO have gotten their ninth round. It's the end of the first half. The score is 9-3. Well, chat, tell me one thing. Will this be a curse or will it just go with CSGO the match up because they have an upper hand since it is an attacking map as I mentioned earlier. They have attacking, they have chosen defense on the first half and they will attack on the second half. Even if they try to make a comeback I think so they'll have a healthy chance of doing it just because of the 9-3 curse. But yeah as it is an attacking map it will be difficult for PRDD to come back at this point. But yeah, if you win the pistol, anything can happen because pistol is the most important round of the game. Well, first deciding to go on to A side, now they've come on to the B side. Let's see. Well, the defenders only, the Sova is holding B side and there are... Here. This doesn't look good for the team of PRDD. They will spot on to... They will spot on to the enemy Sova out here. But yeah, they get instant entry. Akusa gets an instant entry. But gets uh, located out here, gets the Miraki trying to get the plant and I think so they'll go for the retake plan yet another time. But this time it's team PRDD who will go for the retake plan. And a Sohariv coming out here, Greedy becomes very much less in HP. Five of the attackers are in backside, Ransom gets a kill on Notorious, Broccoli gets the trade, Broccoli gets CSGO, Akusa gets onto Broccoli. Instant face coming up out here. It's a 1v3 for the defend, it's for the attackers and Akusa Akusa just on a very bad spot and gets the kill and the pistol on the first on the second half has been won by team PRDD it's the fourth round for team PRDD and well 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 they have won the pistol round and I think so they can do a comeback maybe let's see they have a buy right here and I don't think so team CSGO will get a buy because well they won't risk out their chances of winning if they get a buy and they don't manage to win the round it will become difficult for them and they stick to not buying but still Akusa gets a uh, marshal just to try those marshal one tap headshots which are so satisfying and given that it's Akusa it's much more satisfying to see believe me the one tap that he has been delivering since the first round it's incredible it's scintillating to watch and yeah, Voxic will push down mid doors. Try to spot someone. All the attackers being on the game. Miraki will get the Sova drone and you watch it with his brilliant wiper wall but doesn't manage to hide. Get spotted on by the Sova's dart. Well, Voxic gets on to Accuser with a brilliant lurk. I think so Voxic will fall back. But yeah, all the team members will try to push Voxic so that they could get the so that they could get the gun and at least try to win the round well Voxic gets a second kill on the Phantom make it a 3v5 for the attackers gets full HP putting the blind CSGO and Voxic on a 1v1 duel Notorious gets a kill on to Ransom make it a 2v5 for the attackers and well 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 this was not expected from Voxic the two kills being good but CSGO just makes an incredible flick. It was, an, it was a 180 degree flick and CSGO just being amazing. But Broccoli takes on the trade. And Miraki gets the trade on to Broccoli. It's a 2v1 for the defenders. Fairly easy for the defenders to get the round right here. But no, yeah. Okay, the trade comes in handy. And Greedy gets on the kill to Miraki. It's the fifth round for Team PRDD. Well, let me say it once more. If they get... If they get and if they manage to win this anti eco, I think so they have a fair chance of making a very, very brilliant comeback. And if PRDD wins this match, I think so they'll directly qualify for the finals because CSGO will be losing right here. Right all here. the four maps right here. Right here. Well, looking at the score, it's 9 to 5. <laughs> 
Okay, so they'll desperately the try to get the tenth round out here. Team CSGO gets the tag on to fan UOT. And they'll just wait outside cave for a moment and CSGO will try to lurk up to the tube and try to spot someone but Notorious with his saves I think so they'll have a little bit of problem right here. Let's check onto the kills once more. For the team of CSGO, Akiosa being the top fragger with 15 kills, followed by Miraki with 14, Ransom with 14, CSGO with 11 and Phantom with 7. In team PRDD, it's Voxic who has been carrying the team with 11 kills, followed by Broccoli with 9 kills, Notorious with 9 kills, Greedy with 8 kills and Uwati with 1 kill. And let's see, the attack will come... Will the attack come out? Because we can see on the map that Sova is trying to get a lurk kill out on B side and if the timing gets out he might get chamber and yes they try to spot on too and yes Sova gets left. the dart onto the B side but doesn't realize that Broccoli is just waiting with a shorty out there. Ransom on the other hand tries to push on to elbow from mid and gets the, uh, gets the kill on to Voxic make it a 4v5 for the defenders right. and they enter the A site and will get the plant but Yoshi gets on Akusa only 8 seconds left for the plant will they get the plant no they don't get the plant and it's 3v1 but there is very much less time and I think so this is the map this oh my god Broccoli just makes things worse this was not expected just because of the time they could not get the plant and the round goes on to the team of PRDD well they get the anti-eco does not look good they're making a good comeback as i said the 9-3 curse they're trying to get the comeback right here but yeah this was amazing broccoli just holding on to b site having a lot of patience right there but will the team of csgo be anxious about this one because this was a round which they were supposed to win just because of the 1v1 duels they had given they could not manage to win the round and the Sova's move will come handy, will be broken by the Viper inside. Let's see, Akusa gets onto the kill of Notorious, enters from mid, gets onto the kill of UOT with a wonderful headshot and make it a 3v5 for the defenders. Make it a 3v4 for the defenders as Broccoli gets the trade on to Akusa and CSGO this time. Making no mistakes, gets the plan, but Voxic spots on CSGO and I think so Ransom will get on the kill to Broccoli. Yes, he does make it a 2v4 for the defenders. And yeah, PRDD doesn't look good at the moment. Voxic still trying to get some kills using his blinds. But yeah, a 2v4 situation. They're just holding for the spike detonation sound. And Greedy gets a kill on to Phantom. Voxy gets a kill on to CSGO. Interesting matchup match right here. Becomes a 2v1. And yeah, Ransom just making things correct. CSGO get the 6th. Uh, CSGO get the 10th round. Phew, that was... That was incredible how Voxic and Greedy just went in and got the 2 kills because it was 2v2 for a moment but... Ransom just manages to get the uh, both of the kills and the round as well so the score being 10 to 6 16 rounds three rounds and team csgo wins the match three rounds and team csgo wins the match which will take us to the third match which is park stars versus team prdd and csgo has to wait for the results to come out of the grand finals which should be held today later so stay tuned with us Watch the live stream, enjoy, and let's see. Akusa gets spotted on with the owl drone and walks sick with an incredible position behind the site of behind the radianite of B site and the drone and and the sova reveal comes in handy. The viper's wall comes in. I think they will make an attack to the A site. Both of them, and he gets real Phantom gets the kill on to greedy, but gets stacked down very much. Voxy gets the trade on to Phantom, make it a 4v4. Akusa with another one tap onto Voxy gets the trade and CSGO will go for the plant. Akusa gets another kill onto Broccoli, make it a 2v4 for the defenders. Well, how the turntables. Akusa just being amazing. And CSGO gets on to Notorious, the final person left here. Well, CSGO has opened up his ult. I don't think he has done that on intention, intentionally. And they're just 
they are just finding the fifth member of team PRDD. They are just hunting for him. But he will try to save, I think, try to get exit frags as it is a save round of it. Yeah, but get spotted on by CSGO. I don't think so. He will give him the kill, but get the detonation kill. Yes. And it's the 11th round for the attackers. Team CSGO being incredible and getting another round. Two rounds left for Team CSGO to become the first team. I think so. He, it will become the first team to get qualified for the finals. And here we can see Team PRDB have called for a timeout. Well, as they have taken a timeout, let's take a short timeout. Because, yeah, even we need to drink water. We need to take a little bit of rest. So stay tuned for one minute. We'll be right back. Lunch kid, yeah, Gorim. Two thirty, na. And we are back with the 18th round coming in. 11 rounds have already been won by the team of CSGO and let's see whether they manage to get the 12th round which will lead them to match point and eventually to a victory if they get the next round. Notorious gets on the kill to accuse and gets figured out by Phantom. Phantom gets the kill on the greedy. Make it a 3v4 for the defenders and CSGO will go for another plan. But Broccoli gets on the kill to Ransom. Boxing gets the kill on to CSGO. And Miraki, well, well, well. Doesn't look good for the team of CSGO. The Strats coming in handy and Broccoli gets on the kill to Phantom. The seventh round for Team PRDD. And the timeout has been effective, it seems. Team PRDD gets their second, get their second round. And Team CSGO. Team CSGO need to put their foot, uh, foot forward to win the match and get a spot on the Grand Finals of the event. It's amazing how both of the teams have fought so hard because Breeze is not an easy map. Breeze is legit one of the toughest maps of the game. You want to play? Yeah, Let's they play. It beautifully, both of the teams. And Chamber has opened up his ult. Ransom has opened up his ult. Let's see what he tries to do with his ult. Holding on to the tube and... CSGO tries to hold on the eight. Cave side, Yorty gets the kill onto Accuser. Well, what has happened to Accuser? He's not getting the first bloods anymore since the last three rounds. Well, let's hope for the best. It's a 4v5 for the attackers. Yorty gets a brilliant kill onto Accuser because he's... So, so dangerous for the team of CSGO. And we can see from the scoreboard how dangerous he is. He is on 19 kills with 14 deaths. Well, Ransom is also not behind with 19 kills and 7 deaths. And the way Team PRDD have stepped up in or the defense, how it's just brilliant for them. It's just amazing. It's just, it's commendable for them. Well, CSGO tries to spot on the other side and Ransom gets the kill onto Broccoli. Damn. And they have the position difference out here. It's a 4v4 for 30 the attacker. We'll get the blind out here. And Yorty will get the kill onto CSGO, make it a 4v3. Well, Woxic just holding on to the T base. World. And it's a 2v2. Well, well, Phantom gets gets his ult out and Miraki, because of the reveal, gets onto the third kill onto Yoti and it becomes difficult for Team PRD to win the round. But Boxy gets the kill onto Phantom Well, It's amazing. 1v1 duel between Miraki and Facebook, Miraki and Boxy, and Boxy gets the kill and secure the eighth round for the team of PRDD. Well, Boxy with his incredible lurk, he just holds 
for the chamber to die out there so that the trap becomes disabled and he pushes on to A main to get the two kills and secure the round, secure the eighth round for the team of PRDD. Well, hats Thanks. off to your Voxic. Let's see the kills once again. Voxic on 17 kills, followed by Broccoli with 12, Notorious with 11, Greedy with 10 and Yoati with 4. Well, Yoati has stepped up a little bit. Let's let's wish he gets uh, some more kills so that it becomes easier for team prdd to win the match coming on to team csgo ransom has 20 kills with eight deaths accusa 19 miraki 18 csgo 12 and phantom with 11 kills the round begins right now and box sick instant kills to accusa what has happened to accusa the person who has been giving instant one taps to the same person the the winner of the opposite team, Voxic, is now just losing the 1v1 duels and it's a 4v5 situation out here for the attackers and Voxic will try to get the kill onto Ransom but whips the shots and Ransom will make full advantage of it and gets the kill onto Voxic. They will try to push down to the B site. Well, 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 I think so they have decided to go to the A side because well, let's see. The defenders have realized that they're not coming to the B site, and two of the members of the two of the attackers are in mid. And well, CSGO just pushing on to A main. The three people just coming in. You watching, holding the site will open his Viper's ultimate so that they can't enter the site. It's just 35 seconds left on the clock. I don't think so. It will be easy for Team CS to enter the site. And Uwati gets get some molly kill out on to CSGO, make it a 3v3. But Uwati gets a kill on to Phantom, becomes just 1 HP and gets the kill. Ransom gets the kill on to Uwati, make it a 2v1, a 2v2, pardon me. And Ransom spots Notorious and Notorious one whipping all remaining. the ultimate shots. But Broccoli gets the kill on to Miraki, make Spike it a 1v2 for the defense. For the attackers and just 5 seconds left, I think so, it's another round for Team PRDD, they Last have just been standing. incredible. Even if Ransom gets the kill onto Broccoli, the time difference, well, the ninth round, the ninth round comes on to Team PRDD, a comeback, a healthy comeback. Well, the ninth curse, the ninth curse is just becoming so much true at the moment. 11-9, the score was 9-3, the score has now become 11-9. They have just won two rounds on the attacking sides. Team CSGO and PRDD have been commendable on the defense. Well, I should say both of the teams have been incredible on defense, I should mention. Well, I think so there's a problem between the players. Okay, the round will go as per it's supposed to. Eleven nine the score becoming very very interesting out here the match team CSGO versus team PRD the spot for the grand finals the next match will decide who gets the uh, the first and second spot for the finals out there will it be team Puck Stars will it be team CSGO or will it be team Power Rangers DDT PRDD I think so they have asked for a timeout but Notorious gets a kill on to Ransom I think there is a technical I think there is a difficulty between the players we'll be right back solving the difficulties number 20 Okay, because of the miscommunication between the players, the 20th round will be rolled back and a timeout. Accusa has asked for a timeout right here and, well, timeout is active. Let's talk about their individual performances. Accusa has been brilliant with his opping skills and sheriff skills in the first half. But let's not forget the comeback of Team PRDD, which they have incredibly done in the second half they have just been amazing out here well let's take a short break out here uh, where the players are having a little bit of problem we'll be right back
Level 9 was not possible. Wait, wait, wait. Level 9 was not possible. Level 9 was not possible. Level 9 was not possible. अच्छा ये नाइन कूने जिक्र सिले तुम्हें लिखी दिया टीम ऐसे तक उड़ी लोगों And we are back with the 20th round, solving all the problems which the players were facing. I think there was a problem with the uh, timeout thing, and it has been solved. So it's 11 to 9. Both the teams have been so, so good. I must say, but you watch, you will get the ultimate right here onto A main. Well, he will get spotted by the drone. I don't think so. They'll push on to the Viper's ultimate because it's a matter of HP and it's a matter of winning right here. Well, let me remind you one thing. If does Team CSGO doesn't win this match, they will be eliminated as per the rules because their combined aces will be very much less than the other teams and Notorious instantly gets a kill onto Miraki, the first kill for the defenders and Voxy gets a kill onto Akusa, making a 3v5 for the... Well, instant kills coming up right here, Greedy with two kills, CSGO and Ransom and Phantom getting the trade onto Greedy, make it a 1v3 for the attackers and, well, CSGO, Team CSGO just falling into a very tough spot right here. A comeback is very much possible and it's the 10th round for the team of PRDD with Notorious getting the kill onto Phantom. This is just amazing how PRDD just followed their strats, hold on to their nerves and they are just making a healthy comeback right here. Well, it's amazing for us to see also what we are witnessing because the score was 9-3 moments back and the score has become 11-10 right now. Well, will CSGO make use of their strategies? I think so they will believe on the strategies, they believe on what they want to do. Two of the attackers are waiting on to B lobby and Voxic gets a kill onto Phantom. Voxic becoming incredible. And the top rank, Voxic gets a no kill to Ransom, but Akusa gets the 1v1 onto Voxic, make it a 3v4 for the attackers. Again, CSGO falling on a tough spot right here because they don't have the man advantage well Akusa just holding on to the mid section of the B site and greedy greedy just holding on to the B site so that they da, uh, so, so that they don't enter and Miraki gets the kill onto Oti make it a 3v3 well now it looks possible for team CSGO to get the match point and we can see as uh, in the both uh, in both the teams, Sova's ultimate and Jet's ultimate both are available. They can make it active whenever they want. Akusa gets onto the kill on uh, gets onto the kill to Broccoli, make it a three v two for the attackers. And yes, CSGO. Team CSGO looking very much strong right now. But notorious spotting on Miraki with the operator gets onto the kill. But CSGO will try to get make use of it because 20 seconds are remaining. CSGO will go for the here. Plant. Spike planted. It's Serena, Jet remaining. versus Sova and Jet and Greedy gets the kill onto Akusa. Make it a 2v1 for the defenders and CSGO falling on a tough spot right here getting the kill. Greedy gets the second kill and it's the 11th round of Team PRDD. Well, the comeback is official. They have been incredible in the defense half. 
they have come back so so brilliantly the score right now is 11 to 11 and now it's i don't know what csgo are planning to do because the score was 90 they just have won two rounds in a in an attack favored map which is well not acceptable in valorant terms but let's see prdd might get to win the might get to win this match and secure a spot in the grand finals because if team CSGO loses this match, they will lose both of the matches in the semi-finals and they way. won't qualify for the finals. It's all up to PRDT. But Ransom, Ransom making use of everything he wants to do, making use of his aim and gets the kill onto Voxic, making a 4v5 for the defenders and Greedy getting... The Sova ultimate defense come in, comes in and Greedy gets the kill onto Miraki but Akusa with his ultimate gets onto the kill to Greedy. Make it a 4v3 for the attackers and Viper spit. The Viper's ultimate comes here and now it's possible for Team CSGO to get the match point but it, it is very much, it is very much uh, possible for both of the teams, the match to go into overtime and Ransom whiffing the shots but doesn't matter, gets the kill onto Broccoli and gets onto the kill to Uoti, gets the third kill and make it a 4v1 for the attacker, Notorious gets the kill onto Ransom and gets traded out by CSGO. Well, CSGO You've got this, you've got this match Team CSGO, point. it's the match point right here. But if Team PRDD wins this round, the match will go on to overtime. And let's see, PRDD has been incredible right here. Considering the fact that CSGO hasn't made any, any use of its uh, positive util out there. Just believing on their gut feeling, Get believing out. on their aim, which is fine actually. But we have to remember this is not Counter-Strike. Even if the name is CSGO, play. this game is not Counter-Strike. This game is based on utils. The attackers are trying to get the mid control right here. Three of the attackers are in the mid, con uh, taking the mid control where CSGO has the spike and will try to spot on someone. But I think so, UART has spot on someone in the mid area. Will put well, wall bangs Akusa and Akusa gets instantly tagged down and he's just 21 hp right now doesn't look good for the team of csgo because if akusa doesn't manage to get at least two kills it will become difficult for team csgo to get the match because akusa has been incredible throughout all throughout the whole match ransom getting on 20 kills uh, 20 kills akusa 22 miraki with 19 phantom with 13 and csgo with 13 Whereas Voxic here with 21 kills, followed by Greedy with 16, Notorious with 16, Broccoli with 13, and Uoti with 5. Well, even if Uoti hasn't managed to get a single kill, he has been incredible in holding sights, be being a great Sentinel Viper, double quotation, Sentinel Viper, and it, has, it is very much possible for... Okay, CSGO gets a kill on to Voxic, make it a 4v5 for the defenders, but Greedy gets on the kill to Phantom, and gets traded out by Ransom. But Miraki gets traded out by Broccoli. It's a 3v3 where two of the players are low in HP. So technically, we can say it's a 2v2, but no. Akusa gets a kill onto UOT. And it's Team CSGO who have won the match. Team CSGO have finally defeated Team PRDD. Well, for a second, I thought the comeback was real, but incredible stuff by Team CSGO. They have been wonderful throughout the whole match and the match MVP always the match MVP is the most important and Ransom has made a great impact in this match with 25 kills next being Akusa with 24 uh, next uh, Miraki with 19 CSGO with 14 and Phantom with 13 considering team PRDD Voxic is with 21 kills Notorious 16 Greedy 17 Broccoli with 14 and UOT with 5 doesn't matter they have another match left the last match which is going to come up is Team Puck Stars versus Team PRDD. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. And let's hold on to some more time so that Team CSO can know whether they have qualified for the match or not. If Team PRDD loses the next match, Team CSGO and Team Puck Stars will be the two teams to qualify for the grand finals of Technophilia 2.0, Arcadia Valorant. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Just now in the 
ओए जल्दी करो जल्दी करो ब्रेक न फाइनल नजान मैं स्ट्रीम कर पारिम ना ना इपिना मोर काम आसे ब स्ट्रीम तो चलाय राखी दिम कास्टिंग जदि न करू अरे क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी देखिनि काम आसे बि माने जाबो लागबो तो प्रॉब्लम नै Thank <laughs> you. 
मोर पीओ वि मैं कमेन्ट्री कर तुम पीओ वि मैं नजान गम पासा थर्टी फर्टी से बॉक्स तो ऑन करा सुन मूवी ने बॉक्स तो ऑन करा ये हाँ लास्ट तो तेरा सिंह जो टाइम आउट को दिवो पड़ा नहीं मौज दी दिलो है टाइम आउट बिसार बिसार टाइम आउट ऐसा बिसार बिसार तुम्हें नसीब ना प्रॉब्लम हो शर कारण एट टी मेज दी दी आम ये तो मैं स्ट्रीम कर ना प्रफेनेल देखा इलेवेन नाइन आज न जैसे नेक्स्ट राउंड स्टार्ट से सीते कैसे टाइम आउट लगे जास्ट लास्ट सेकेंड सो रोल बेक कर इलेवेन एट हो तो स्कोर तो आज इलेवेन नाइन इतना जार नाइन से तक आम टी मेज एट दी दी मैं एटा कि लाटा कर स्ट्रीम कर ना बंद कर दी तक आको इलेवेन नाइन पर स्ट्रीम कर टीम राउंड रोल बेक
Ini aku লাফলেম সব আছে and we are back with the third and the final match of the semi finals it's team pop stars versus team prtd the map they have chosen is bind so let me get this straight right here the last match was won by team csgo and team prtd had lost the match if team prtd doesn't manage to win this match team csgo and team pop stars will directly qualify for the grand finals of technophilia 2.0 
So it's very important for Team PRDD to win this match. Only then will the ACS, combined ACS of the team, of all the players will be counted and also the team, the, the round difference will be counted based on which the final finalists will be decided. So let's talk about the agents that they have chosen. So Team Park Stars have gone with a single initiator, Sky, uh, a single, oh, oh, they've gone with double initiator. They've gone with Sky and Faith, the new initiator in the game, a very interesting agent with all the abilities she has with Chamber, uh, uh, with uh, Big Damn Zero playing Chamber, He-Man playing Brim, and La Flame playing Race, being the single duelist of the game. Moving on to Team PRDD, they have gone with Omen for the smoke option, uh, Chamber for the Sentinel option, and double duelists, Reyna and Race, and a single initiator, Soba. So let's begin with the first one of the match, and here we go. Boxer with Pit try to get and yes, the famous Fade and Raze do it. It's so interesting if Raze managed to get at least three kills in that thing. And Draken with a brilliant one tap onto Woxic. Another kill onto Greedy. Already a 3v5 situation for the attackers. But, but Laughlame is just 7 HP. But it shouldn't matter because they, they have a man advantage out okay. there. And there is some fight on to the shower's place and Draken with the remaining. third kill. Sasha it's gets all the kills to Broccoli and Valhazak and it's a flawless round. The first round itself is a flawless round for the team. Puck stars and well, well, I'm sensing something. I'm sensing that team Puck stars will easily dominate team PRDD right here because they are looking dangerous because, well, let's, we have seen it. Draken just being so, so reluctant on getting to those skills and well, the initiator, the initiator calm, the initiator do it. Draken and Sasha with 3 and 2 kills right here. And we are moving on to the second round, the eco for the team of PRDD. Watching smoke. Well, as we can see, Broccoli is just walking on to the side. And Laughlin gets a kill onto Valhazak, becomes a 4v5 already for the attacker. Laughlin gets another kill onto Notorious. Big Damn Zero gets Broccoli. And Laughlin Zero just, Laughlin just finding. Trying to find the other person and He-Man gets a kill on to Voxic. The last person standing. Will this be another flawless for Team Puckstars? Well, stay tuned to know that. And yes, it is it's another flawless for the Team Puckstars. Draken gets the last kill. Well, Team PR did even haven't even managed to get one kill from both of the rounds. Both of the rounds have been flawless. And by the gun buddies, we can see that they are just professional at the game. They are immortals and... Well, I shouldn't say what Immortals are capable of, but PRDD will have a tough fight against the Team Puckstars because Team Puckstars, as I've said, Team Puckstars look very, very dangerous at the moment with all the all the agents, all the utils, all the kills they have. It's just, it will be just amazing to see what they will do. So Draken uh, putting out his Prowler and I think so they will try to push B, the smoke comes on to B, the nade comes on to Laughlame, gets stacked by 55, Sasha gets on to the kill of Boxic and Valhazak instantly trades him out, make this a 4v4, already a 4v4, will this be the first round where Team PRDD will win? Well they have managed to get the first kill, Valhazak, big damn zero gets on Valhazak with a one tap and Laughlame gets on Broccoli with double dinking him, it's a 4v2 for the enemy defenders enemy. and Laughlame gets greedy. Well, doesn't look good for Team PRDD, but Notorious gets a kill of Big Damn Zero. The Chamber Diff coming up right here. A 3v1 situation out here. And let's see what Notorious can do because he doesn't... <laughs> well, He-Man just bunny hopped in front of him and it was so interesting to see. It was so funny to see. It was hilarious. Notorious gets the kill on to Laughlin, the third kill which comes up, he's 50 HP and a 1v1 situation. Draken has full HP left but he doesn't have the gun advantage, he just has a Spectre and Notorious has a Vandal. He gets, gets the spike but no, <laughs> the timing, the sheer timing, Draken gets the kill on to Notorious, just... Well, this was incredible, Draken just sensing what Notorious could have done and he was perfectly out there at the correct position at the correct time and gets the third round for Team Puckstars. Well, they look dangerous. 
Pakistan's look dangerous. They can go for a 13-0 if they want, but it's up to Team PRDD where whether they want to stick on to their guts or come up with a new strat because it's a save round for the team of PRDD and it doesn't look good. You want to play? Let's play. Let's see. Notorious opens up his ult. And as we can see in the kill feed, Draken is the only one in the lobby to have not died a single time and Laughlin with his aggressive push but gets punished by Bal Hazak with incredible sheriff headshots. Make it a 4v5 for the defenders. They don't have guns but they do they don't have man advantage but they do have the guns which can help them secure the round even if they don't have the man advantage. They just have sheriffs and Notorious has his ultimate orb and gets splashed by Sasha. Sasha gets the kill on to Greedy, make it a 4v4. Sasha gets the kill on to Broccoli and gets traded out by Wal Hazak. Draken gets the kill on to Wal Hazak and Notorious gets the trade. A 2v1. He man. And big time zero. Big time zero is not going to help He-Man because He-Man is just going to jiggle peek out there or jump peek out there so that he doesn't get shot with the operator of ultimate operator double quotation should I say of the chamber but with the timing match big time zero with the incredible lurk and gets the TP will rush down to the B side to get the plant but no He-Man just wall bangs the TP and well well they are looking dangerous He-Man is looking dangerous well, Draken dies for the first time this round and well, as we can see in the team of PRDD, Greedy, Broccoli and Boxing, the three, the three musketeers of the team haven't managed to get even a single kill out there in the four rounds that have come up. The score is 4-0. to zero. Team Pakistan's look dangerous. They desperately won the final spot. If they win this match, the finals will be of best of three. Team Pakistan's versus Team CSGO. They are just holding on to their nerves, just trying to get the first round. Gets the reveal out there, the Prowler comes out. And Boxy gets tagged by the Prowler, gets blinded but doesn't matter, he will still push out and manages to peek onto the nade but he is on a tough spot right here. Laughlin with an incredible shot onto Greedy, He-Man with a shot onto Walhazak. He-Man gets the other kill onto Boxic and He-Man looking dangerous, the brimstone of the team looking dangerous, Draken gets the kill on to Notorious and Big Jam Zero gets the kill on to Broccoli, the third flawless round of the match, the third flawless round comes up in just the fifth round, this is incredible stuff from Team Pakistan and I think so, a timeout is just coming up. Well let's take a moment and discuss about the current scenario we are in. Draken has 7 kills with just 1 death, making his KD 7, followed by Laflame with 5, He-Man with 5, Sasha with 5 and Big Jam 0 with 3 kills. In Team PRDD, Notorious and Valhazak are the only people who have managed to get kills with 4 and 3 kills respectively. And Greedy, Broccoli and Boxic are still waiting to open their accounts. And let me tell one thing, if Team PRDD, Team PRDD loses this match, they get out of the tournament. It will be Team CSGO versus Team Buck stars for the grand finals. So let's take a break right here. The timeout is active. We will be right back. Stay tuned. And we are back, the timeout is over and the current scene is it's 5 to 0 for in favor of Team Pakistan and they are looking dangerous right here. They are looking so dominating, they are just dominating Team PRDD right here. And I am saying it again and again, if PRDD doesn't manage to win this match, anyhow, anywho, they get eliminated from the tournament. It will be Team Pakistan versus Team CSGO and meanwhile Big Damn Zero gets an operator kill onto Voxic who was trying to enter the side as we could see in the map. And he-Man gets 
uh, he mans gets uh, the kill onto Notorious. Bell has hack onto Sasha, greedy to trade in. And the trade comes out onto Notorious. Laughlin gets the trade. It's a 2v3 situation for the defenders, but greedy is too much low on HP. And gets the kill. Laughlin gets the kill onto greedy. A 2v2 situation already. Well, Valhazak is just 5 HP. What will he do to manage the first round for Team PRDD? They're trying to enter the site. And I think so. Puckstars will go for a retake. The nade comes in on the site. The ultimate of <laughs> Laughlin comes in on site. But <laughs> ultimate kill doesn't come in. It's just the nade kill and Big Damn Zero gets Valhazak with his classic. It's the sixth round. The sixth round and the sixth round for. Team Puckstars. It's the sixth round of the game. The sixth round has been won by Team Puckstars. They are just dominating out there. Well, it's amazing. It's the matchup is just wonderful out here. Let's explore the beautiful map of Bind. Well, as we can see, Chamber has set up his traps onto the Hookah area. And well, what will the attackers do this time? because they are not looking at a good position. Will they manage to get the first round this time? But no, they have an eco this round. They have saved their economy. And you can see they're not in a good position. Sasha gets instantly greedy and He-Man with Voxit. But Valhazak takes the kill on the big dance and Notorious with Sasha becomes a 3v3 even on an eco round. Well, now it has become interesting. But Broccoli gets the kill onto He-Man, make it a 2v3 for the defenders. They don't have the gun advantage, but they do have the man advantage. And Broccoli gets killed out by Drake and becomes a 2v2 yet and again, yet another time. And Notorious just holding on. Laugh name, trying to sense his nerves and find Notorious. But I think so there will be a timing right here. And Notorious gets the one tap to Laugh Lame. This is incredible. I think this will be the first round for Team PRDD and Walhaza gets the plant onto the A side. It's just up to Draken. He will get the lurk but Chamber is still alive. If the trap activates, he will get to know that he is, he is coming backstab. But I think so he will try to save this round. Well, doesn't Draken know that the bomb has been planted on A side because it doesn't seem that. Okay, now he knows. Now he is going on. Well, the timer is running out, timer is ticking. Might be the first round which PRDD wins. Gets the fake diffuse sound out there. Get Valhaz are getting the reveal, but doesn't manage to get the kill. And they managed to get out with a thrifty round, the first round for Team PRDD. Well, that was an interesting round with all the Sheriff one taps and Pocket Deagle one taps. The first round of Team PRDD comes up and it's a thrifty round. Well, let's see. This might break the momentum of Team uh, Puckstars a little bit, but they are looking dominating. They are looking dangerous. It doesn't matter what they, uh, what we say or what the casters are just waiting out here. The moderators are waiting out here. We are just observing a brilliant game here. The third semi-final, the third semi-final between Puckstars and Team PRD. Just for the spot in the grand finals of Technophilia 2.0. Well, Big Damn Zero gets the kill onto Notorious with his ultimate operator. Chamber ultimate operator, double quotations. But Voxic spots down Laugh Lame, but Laugh Lame with his nade tags down Voxic and will not tag down much. He's tagged down to just uh, 50 HP. Well, let's see where they could come. Big Damn Zero gets another kill onto Broccoli, the second kill. But Paul Hazard gets Laugh Lame, becomes a 4v3 for the defenders. And Draken gets Walhazak and becomes a 4v2. The spike is down. They know that the spike is in the A side. I think so they will try to save this one. But Greedy and He-Man. Greedy and He-Man. The smoker diff will just come right here. He gets the one tap onto Greedy. He-Man. What a shot. What a timing. But Voxic here gets the kill out to Big Damn Zero. But instantly gets traded out by Sasha. The seventh round has been won by the team of Rockstars. Well, the first half, eight rounds gone, seven rounds for Puckstars, one round just for PRDD. It doesn't look good for PRDD because if they want a spot in the Grand Finals, they have to win this match and believe in their fate so that they can qualify for the Finals. 
but the way Park Stars are playing it looks so so good. Let's see what they plan this time, what the strat is this time. Laughlin getting close onto the hookah area. Gets instantly tagged down to 145, but Notorious gets the kill onto Big Dance. You know, we saw a hilarious moment. Laughlin getting the satchel kill onto Notorious. Will Valhazar getting Sasha Greed, getting Draken. 2v3 situation already within 10 seconds of the round 2v2 make it 2v2 laughlin gets on valhazak but is stacked down to 120 hp he man gets on greedy and well doesn't look good for broccoli well it's just a 1v1 situation for broccoli and he man he man has to be safe because he doesn't know where the ultimate might be coming from he's trying to reposition himself mauling there and the well a one tap just a casual one tap, just a normal day for He-Man at the office. It's so good, such a brilliant shot. The eighth round comes for the team of Buckstars. They look dangerous if I thought they would go for a 13-0 win, but Team, team PR did just manage to win one round right here. Well, let's see what they can do if even if they try to manage a comeback, I don't think so. It will be easy for the team of PRDD, the team of Power Rangers DD to make an easy comeback right here because the score doesn't seem very convincing. It's 8-1. And getting onto the same position, La Flame getting close to the hookah area, but Paul Hazard gets a kill onto La Flame, tagging him right there. Draken tagging everyone with his power to making things worse. And Greedy gets a kill onto Sasha. I think so this might be the second round which PRDD wins because it's a 5v3 on favor of the attackers and they'll enter the B side. Whoops on the shots, Big Damn Zero gets but He-Man doesn't make any mistake, gets the kill to Broccoli, Big Damn Zero to Walhazak already becomes a 3v3 from a 3v5. He-Man gets, he gets Voxic through wall banging right there and a 5v3 becomes a 3v1. Well, didn't I say this is amazing? They are just so, so dangerous right here and the kill will come handy. Big Damn Zero gets a wonderful kill onto Notorious. The ninth round comes in for the team of Puckstars. Well, I should say they had to manage the round team PRDD because it was an easy round. They had the man advantage. They had every util they needed to use, but still they did not manage to get the round. And well, Puckstars just being amazing right here and getting a 3v5 round and getting the ninth round secured for themselves. And they are very, very close to the final spot to, to secure the spot in the final place of the game. And let's you see want to what play, this let's round play. brings in. I think it's another info for them. And now Flame instantly gets the kill onto Greedy. Gets the kill onto Boxing. Gets the third click kill onto Valhazak. A beautiful one tap. We get the ace. Get the fourth kill. And hunting for the chamber. But no, the 4k just doesn't convert into the ace because Notorious gets on. Man, I'm so unhappy because he did not get the ace. But. Well done Notorious on getting the second kill and Big Damn Zero takes the trade on to Notorious. The 10th round comes in, 11th round done and it's last round, last round the before the half and the score is not convincing for the team of PRDD. Team of Puckstars are just amazing out here. They, they have secured 10 rounds already out of the 13 rounds. They just need 3 rounds to win the match with the first uh, as the first half is coming to the end, it's just one round of PRDD. They should reconsider their strats because clearly it's not working and they're doing the same things out here but still they're failing to kill on to any member right there. Laughlin again going aggressive on that hookah area. Big Dams, you know, trying to spot someone through showers and Sasha trying to take the ultimate op to make it's even worse. And Voxic, I think, so they, he'll try to enter the site. Bum. Gets tagged and Sova's head, headhunter comes in but doesn't manage to get any kill. Well, he managed just position, positioning himself very nicely in the lamp area. Sasha gets the kill on to Broccoli. Voxic gets on Laughly, make it a 4v4. And I think so it will be a B push right here because, well, there is no defender on the B side. It's just them. They'll get an easy plan, but they'll wait for the retake. And He-Man gets on Valus and make it a 4v3. Make it a 4v2 as Big Damn Zero gets victorious. And well, 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 it's becoming so fast. I'm not even 
trying to read out who is being kill, killed and Switching who stars. is getting the kills. It's 11 to 1 for Team Puckstars. Looks like an easy win for the team of Puckstars and I think so they've got onto the yeah. round. They've got on the match and they will secure the spot in the Grand Finals if Team PRDD doesn't manage to get their, the round secure for themselves. At the moment it looks difficult because they just have one round from the defending half and Bind, well Bind is a neutral map, it's very much fair for attackers as well as defenders so it's interesting to see what uh, Team Puckstars would be doing. Team PRD they desperately need the pistol round to still be alive at the game because it doesn't look good for them. La Flame trying to enter Hookah, <laughs> but whips on his <laughs> boom bot. We can see right here and gets the chamber strap. I think so. They will enter B, get an easy entry. Notorious gets the kill onto Big Dam Zero. Draken gets the kill onto Boxing, make it a 4v4. And Notorious gets smoked out in the elbow area, gets the plant Draken. The nade will come in handy. Val Hazak still stuck in the smoke area and Notorious is the only one who's low on health. Broccoli gets the kill on to Laughlin, make it a 4v3 for the defenders. Notorious whiffing the shots but getting the headshot at last at the A man. Gets the brilliant one tap onto Sasha and I think it's a round for Team PRDD. Team PRDD gets the pistol round of the second half. Well, well, they have secured the second round for themselves. Well, chat, what do you think? Will it be a comeback? Just write it out there. Well, it's difficult to make a comeback, but it's not impossible if you if you are following your gut and you're following every instinct that you believe in. It's just wonderful. They just managed to get the pistol run because, because it seemed that the team of Pakistans were trying to troll out there, but Notorious with the brilliant one taps onto the elbow area, getting three kills and securing the round for Team PRDD. Well, it's a safe, it's an eco for the team of Pakistans as they have had they had lost the pistol round, but still they will try to make full use of it. Spike down A. And Broccoli gets the kill onto Draken, gets the kill onto Sasha, make it a 3v5 already. The backstab coming in handy, but Broccoli gets a kill on with the nade. Trying to reposition himself. I think he will try to get the ace out here. But Big Damn Zero gets onto Val Hazak, making it a 2v4 out here. Boxic just hunting down enemies right here. But Big Damn Zero with the brilliant one tap gets Boxic. And Broccoli with the 4k. Will this be an ace? 26 HP just. Gets the nade, I think so big damn zero will be tagged down, but no, he repositions himself, gets tagged down to 7 HP, and Broccoli gets the ace, it's a charge ace, and it's a third round for the team of PRDD, they have done incredible stuff out here, well yeah, it was definitely a race diff out there, <laughs> okay, the players might be enjoying this match a little bit more than we are. So let's have a look at the condition of the match right here. La Flame is top fragging with 14 kills, followed by Big Damn Zero Draken and Him and each at 13 kills and Sasha with 9 kills. Whereas Notorious is there with 14 kills as well, Valazak with 10, Broccoli with 8, Greedy with 3 and Voxic with just 2 kills. The hero of the last match just struggling out here and gets killed down again by La Flame. Notorious gets the kill onto Drake and gets the kill onto La Flame but gets traded out by Sasha becomes a 3v3 for the attackers and will they get the plan? No, he man manages to kill Greedy and well, Broccoli. Broccoli gets the kill onto Sasha. He man gets the trade. Enemy Is it the 12th round? Yes, it's the 12th round as Big Damn Zero gets Wal Hazak. Only round remaining for Team Puckstars if they want to qualify for the finals. And I think so. They've secured the spot in the final of Technophilia 2.0 Arcadia Valorant. They have played brilliantly. Hats off to both the teams. Hats off to both the teams who managed to come to the semi-finals because it was a tough competition out here in Technophilia 2.0 and hats off to all the teams who has who have played 
uh, in the tournament. So let's see what the potential last round could be. Well, Voxy gets spotted out by the race boom bot and it doesn't seem good because most of the players in Team PR really don't have a have buy but Notorious gets a kill on to Heeman, Greedy gets a kill on to Sasha but gets traded out by Laughlame, gets a kill on to Block Broccoli, make it a 3v3 out there. Laughlame Laugh Lame trying to get the kill on to Notorious but Big Damn Zero makes things easier and gets the kill on uh, to Notorious. The chamber diff coming up right here, it's a 3v2 situation. Well, things could get heated up if PRDD win this round. Walhazak just spotting out enemies and Big Damn Zero gets the kill. The lurk doesn't become successful. It's a 2v2 situation out there. Still healthy for PRDD to make a round which they want to win. La Flame gets tagged down by Sova. Well, it's amazing. And Walhazak with the interesting and wonderful one tap on to La Flame. It's a 2v1 for the defenders. Um, they can just ults out everything, gets the kill onto the diffuser but gets traded out by Voxic. This was a round which was fully planned by Team PRDD. The fourth round comes in handy. Well, if the trade didn't come, if he managed to get the spray transfer, I think so this was the end of the match. Well, the potential last round did not turn out to be the last round. Let's see if this is the potential last round. It's 12 to 4, the current scenario. But La Flame just sitting on top with 17 kills along with Notorious. Let's not forget Notorious. He's just helping and doing whatever possible in his limits to make PRDD win this match. Well, the kill distribution between the team of Pakstars is very much uniform as 17, 15, 15, 14 and 10. And Team PRDD, Notorious and Walls are trying their best Let's to win the play. game. And Broccoli Greedy and Boxing. Just need to step up. Well, we have seen a brilliant shot by Big Damn Zero. A dangerous shot by Big Damn Zero onto Voxic. Make it a 4v5 already. Well, they get the timing and Broccoli gets the kill onto Big Damn Zero. But Laugh Lame with his ultimate gets the trade. And Va team ha uh, uh, He-Man gets the kill onto Valhazak. And Laugh Lame gets the kill onto Notorious with the shorty. And I think, I think this is it. This is the moment. Yes, it's the moment and Team Pakstars are the ones, the second team to qualify for the Grand Finals of Technophilia 2.0. Well, Team PRD, they did not manage to win a single match in the semi-final league. So I think so, it's an easy qualification for Team Pakstars and Team CSGO. Let's see what they have done. It's a 13-4 victory for the Team of Pakstars. 19 kills for La Flame becoming the match MVP and well, that's it. We'll be right back with the grand finals, which will be in a moment. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Your laptop helped a lot, man. Your laptop helped me a lot. <laughs> My laptop isn't capable of doing all these things at once.
So, Bolo teams, you are the finalist for grand finale. So, before I start the match, like it continues, and let me just tell you the rules. Simple as that. If you have any issue or trouble disconnecting, uh, reconnecting in match, or you disconnect, so just uh, text me up. And if you want to roll back the round, just let me know, and I'll do it for you guys. Am I clear? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, I'll leave this up to Jin Lover right now. He will handle the rest of the match. Have fun, guys. So, that was a word from the man behind all the success of Technophilia 2.0 Arcadia, the main moderator of Technophilia, Mior. So, yeah, let's begin with the grand finale of Arcadia. Technophilia 2.2 and the first map which we are starting with is Bind. So let's see what team Parkstars have gone with. They've gone with Double Initiator as previously uh, Previously, we have seen it. Sky paid a Smoker Brimstone Sentinel uh, Chamber and a Single Duelist Race. Whereas uh, in team CSGO, they have gone with a Single Smoker Roman, Double Sentinel, Sage and Chamber a single duelist race and a single du uh, initiator sky so let's begin with the first of the best of three maps which is bind it will be an interesting matchup be because it's both the teams which are the best in the tournament because of which they have entered the grand finale so let's begin may the best team win today So team CSGO had won the toss and they had decided to go for the map pick or should I say the map ban and they have decided uh, they had decided to ban four of the maps uh, one after the other so bind breeze and ascent will be the three maps which they're gonna play bind being the first ascent being the second and breeze being the deciding one even if it goes to the deciding map uh, the breeze uh, the breeze uh, the map of breeze so bind will be the first map which they are be playing so csgo has an upper hand on csgo picked for bind buckstars picked for ascent and csgo then again picked for breeze so let's begin with the first round All right, the players seem to have some issue over there. The timer has stopped. We'll be right back seeing what the issue is. So yeah, let's begin with the first round of the first map of the first grand finale of Arcadia Technophilia 2.0 and it seems like the players are having too much fun right there, just trash talking out there and just trying to piss off the other teammates and meanwhile we can see Laughlame going aggressive on uh, Hookah side using the TP and Devil Ninja gets a kill, uh, Laughlame gets a kill onto Devil Ninja, it's already a 4v5 situation out there for the attackers and big time zero is has fallen on to a tough spot. Will he get the kill? Sasha gets a kill on to Ransom. CSGO gets a trade. Draken gets a kill on to Akusa. And it's a 3v1 situation in favor of the defenders. And Draken gets the third kill. It's the first round which team Puck Stars have won. So yeah, just Draken just is amazing. Draken, as we had seen in the previous match, is just amazing how they just managed to get the initiator 
util out there and get all the kills out there so that they can secure the round for the team of Buckstars. That works. So yeah, we, as you can see, Big Damn Zero is going aggressive onto B long, but all the attackers are riled up on the A lobby, but they are saving the guns. They are saving the guns out there, and they don't have a good economy because they had lost the pistol round. But La Flame instantly gets a kill onto Devil Ninja, going aggressive, and the reveal comes in. Draken gets a kill onto Miraki. La Flame gets a second kill onto Ransom. It's already a 5v2 situation on favor of the defense defenders. And Akusa might have a smoke advantage, but no, CSGO gets a kill onto La Flame with the shorty, the mighty shorty, and he man just takes the trade. Man, Akusa, that was not a good TP. They can just rex down Akusa right there. So yeah, that was the second round which team Buckstars have secured when we just saw that team PRDD was completely wrecked by team Buckstars in the previous match. They just managed to get four rounds out of it. But yeah, let's see because both of the teams here are really, really good. They have entered the finals. They, it was a tough competition out there. And meanwhile, Big Time Zero going aggressive onto B Long yet another time. But, it's, but it seems like all the attackers are riled up on. The A site and trying to take position, but Draken gets a kill onto Miraki. It's already a 4v5 in favor of defense. A late push from Hoop uh, from Shower comes in along with the fade out. When Laughlin gets a kill with a Bucky onto CSGO, Akusa gets the trade. Draken gets a kill on Devil Ninja. Big Dan Zero with a one tap onto Akusa, and Draken gets the third kill onto Ransom, and it's the third round for the team of Buckstars. They are looking unstoppable at the moment. It's brilliant gameplay out there. They just won the anti eco so comfortably. It's amazing. It's scintillating stuff right here. So yeah, three rounds have gone and let's check out the kill feed. Draken is with eight kills and zero deaths out there. Draken is the one who has not even died once in the, uh, in the previous three rounds. Whereas La Flame with four kills and him and Sasha and Big Damn Zero with sitting comfortably with one one kill each. And on the other hand, it seems like Devil Ninja and Miraki ha are facing a problem in finding kills. But we hope for the best and let the best a win and meanwhile big damn zero gets a kill on to devil ninja on to b long and b long is completely secured by devil ninja and sasha just comes with well a late push from hookah just made things worse for the team csgo because la flame just gets accused out there and it's already a 3v5 for the attackers and it's in favor of the defenders because they are very well equipped to win the fourth round right here well, they are pushing three people are backstabbing right here and Ransom doesn't have guns but will he stick on to the one taps yes he believes his one taps and gets Sasha but instantly gets traded down by La Flame make it a 2v4 in defense of in uh, in favor of the defense and Draken right there just whipping all the shots and CSGO getting a kill onto Himan with his ghost but gets traded out by La Flame the third kill make it a 2v1 and this was interesting. This was a good eco by the team of CSGO. Just hovering him using the satchel slap flame and gets the kill onto Miraki with a wonderful run and gun because he knows that he has a sheriff and that's the fourth kill and the fourth round secured by the team Buckstars. They are looking unbelievably strong here. The way they defeated PRDD last match, it was incredible. And here they are, the two best teams, but still they're looking unstoppable. Well, the first map is underway. Bind 4-0, the score right now. And meanwhile, we can see that Devil Ninja is still struggling to get onto some skills. CSGO being the top fragger of the team with four kills, followed by Ransom with two, Akusa with one, Mirake with one. And on the other hand, Draken and La Flame are just sitting comfortably at the top with eight kills, and the others are just chilling out there with two and one kills respectively. 
Well, let's see what happens right now. Big damn zero again holding the B long area and He-Man trying to spam through the smoke to find the enemies. Trying to get one kill or just trying to tag down the enemies. And the util use the boom bot did not detect He-Man. That was not expected because I thought that He-Man would be detected using the boom bot, but incredible movement by He-Man just saved him from being detected by the boom bot. But Laugh Lemon Devil Ninja waiting for the raised if right here, but yes, they spot each other and let's see what happens. Laugh Lemon gets inside. Lambs but Big Damn Zero gets the kill on to Ransom, the perfect chamber diff on to B-Long. I think so it will be a B push, a late B push. The spike is just falling, fallen off to the fountain area and Devil Ninja is trying to get a peek but fails to do so. But C is going instantly trades out Devil Ninja by killing on Big Damn Zero. It's a 4v2 situation and I think so he will go on with the rest. Devil Ninja goes on with the rest. It's a 3v4 situation right here on favor of the defense it's a 4v2 now as sasha gets a kill on to devil ninja well does not look good for the team of csgo because they are getting wrecked right here just 12 seconds left on the clock and if they don't plan the spike it will be gone draken gets a kill on to miraki csgo trades it out but he-man gets the trade instantly and it's the fifth round for the team of puck stars looking unbelievably strong here Well, Team Puckstars have just won 5 out of 5 rounds and Team CSGO are finding it difficult. You want to play? Let's play. To get around, but Miraki gets killed by He-Man instantly. Make it a 4v5 already for the for the attackers. Now, Trekin and Accusa might have a position difference, but Accusa trying his best to not get spotted, but will be spotted by Draken and gets the kill, make it a 4v4. And the plan coming in for the team of CSGO, trying to take in Lamp's control. Not the plan, Miraki gets the kill onto La Flame, gets traded out by Sasha. Skydiff right here, gets another kill onto CSGO, gets another kill onto Ransom, instant kills off Sasha. Brilliant gameplay, but gets traded out by Devil Ninja. 2v1 situation and Big Damn Zero gets the kill and the sixth round, sixth round is secured by the team of Puxters. They are just moving in unbelievably strong. And that's the tea bag which comes in by being damn zero and draken. Well, 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 team CSGO, come on. Just move up your strats and do something because you haven't won even a single round in the first half. It's already halfway through the first half and Buckstars are looking unbelievably strong right here. Now it's a situation which makes the players a little bit wild up but we are hoping for the best and Wishing C is going to make a good comeback, but Puckstars, man, Puckstars are looking dangerous right here. But still, let's see what happens. Anything can happen. This is Valorant. And Akusa gets a kill onto Sasha, gets traded out by La Flame. C is going to get stacked down, but uses his heal. Ransom with a beautiful one tap onto Big Damn Zero. The reverse chamber diff right here. It's a 4v3 situation out here. And Ransom just trying to pick out the players on B side. And as we can see, there is no player on the site. And Prim just taking in CT control. Just enter the site. Might get a timing problem. Yes, Ransom gets the kill onto He-Man. Might have... Might be the first rounds with Team CSGO wins. And yes, it looks very much possible now with Miraki getting the kill onto Draken. And Laughlin gets a kill onto Miraki but gets traded down by Devil Ninja. And the first round, the first round comes for the team of CSGO. Well, CSGO just managed to... Man, CSGO just becoming... Okay, this might break, a mo break the momentum of the team of Puckstars a little bit. But I don't think so it will matter that much to them. Team CSGO just secured their first round and it's... Really incredible to see the stuff right here because man, Puckstars were looking strong until, until this round and they just dominated around here. He-Man ready with his ultimate 
might tag down some enemies and Devil Ninja just trying to push down his boombot onto B long and gets the flash handy. Will Sasha survive? And Sasha with the incredible one tap onto Devil Ninja. Wow, this was incredible. The counter strafe by Sasha and hitting the headshot so crispy. Headshot. Unbelievable. And Sasha is falling on a tough spot right here with two people being on the lobby. But Ransom is just whipped onto a shot and Sasha gets the third kill onto CSGO. Already a 4v2 situation on favor of the defense. Laughlin gets a kill onto a kill. So the last person standing is Miraki who is struggling on the side but self flashes him. Well, everybody's allowed to make mistakes, but Sasha gets killed by Miraki since it was low on HP and gets traded out instantly by La Flame. So it's the seventh round which is secured by the team of Buckstars. Well, Team CSGO does not look at a comfortable position right here. Seven rounds out of the eight rounds have been won by the team of Buckstars and just a single round for the team of CSGO. Well, not to forget, it's the best of three, so even if CSV doesn't manage to win this match, they have two maps remaining, which is Ascent and Breeze. One being a CT-sided map and one being a T-favored map. So let's see whether CSGO tries to come up with a new strat and does something magical to win the round here. Big Time Zero, yet another time, going aggressive on B-Long with his operator. He-Man trying to smoke spam yet another time onto showers, doing the same strats all over again, but still getting the same success which is incredible which is not expected Spike dropped. Oh. and might have trying to spot someone using the rage boom but he man gets the kill onto miraki and big damn zero with the kill onto devil ninja already at 3v5 for the def uh, defense side does not look good he man gets the kill onto ransom and accusa getting tagged down CSGO whipping all the Spectre shots onto Draken and a flawless round. The ninth round and it's the team of Puckstars which have won the ninth round. The score is 8 to 1. Man, Puckstars are looking unbelievably strong. They're looking dangerous. They're looking... I am out of words to explain what Puckstars are looking right now. It's wonderful how the best two teams... One of the best two teams is struggling to get even... Uh, struggling to get past the scoreline of one round even now. And for the third time I'm saying Big Damn Zero going aggressive on the B long side, getting the help of Sasha. Operator coming in handy, but the attack is this time on the A side. Sasha will go aggressive on to the BTP, but gets flashed out and uses his ult. Akusa will get some kills. He man gets a kill onto Akusa, onto Ransom. Sasha gets a kill onto Devil Ninja. Already at 2v5. Another flawless round by Team Puckstars. Well, the dangerous Team Puckstars just hunting down the remaining two enemies. Big Damn Zero gets a kill onto Miraki, but gets traded down by CSGO. Not a flawless, but CSGO will be traded down by La Flame. The 10th round finishing and the 9th round has been secured by the Team of Puckstars. Just two rounds remaining in this half and well, 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 they haven't used the timeouts yet, but we are thinking to maybe reconsider the strats uh, using the timeouts because both the team have uh, timeouts left in the first half. And here comes the trash talk by He-Man. Man, He-Man is such... A hilarious person, I must say. But he just, just gives the gun to his smoke. Man, that was hilarious. That was not expected by E-Man. But this might piss the attackers a little bit because E-Man is just playing with his sheriff right now. And pushing to showers. Sasha gets a kill onto Miraki Laughlin with CSGO. Big damn zero with Ransom and Devil Ninja to Big damn zero. Well, the troll by Laughlin was just... And he man just wall bangs the pre fire spot, gets the kill, doesn't manage to get the other kill. But he man is just 30 HP down. Maybe this is the round which Akusa might win for the team of CSGO. And the 
I mean, Jeff, Akusha gets a kill on to him and getting on the TP. And Akusha just overpowers them and just gets the kill on to Draken to win the second round for the team of CSGO. Man, that was an omen outplay out there. The 3k by Akusha to win the round. Well, he man, you shouldn't have done that. The attackers are clearly pissed, and I think so. If CSGO managed to win the, uh, this round, well, 93 curse yet another time, a comeback yet another time. It's very much possible, but let's see what happens. The last round before the first half. Here we go. So Ransom going on aggressive again and gets the kill on to big down zero, but Sasha gets the kill on to Ransom. Instant trades out there, already a 4v4 situation. Draken gets stacked down by Sky Sprawlers and using all of his util, and I think so it will be a B push because, well, they might have sensed that there might be more than one defender on the A site. And yeah, they're going on to the B long area and CSGO just gets a kill on to Ransom, but Akusa gets smoke, smoke spammed, make it a 4v4 yet another time and Sasha going aggressive gets punished and devil ninja gets the kill on to sasha last time getting the kill on to csgo draken getting the kill on to miraki make it a 3v2 in favor of the defense make it a 2v2 in the favor of both the teams actually ransom and la flame well ransom is not high on hp he's just 49 hp he's just two shots away from getting traded out but still they will try their best as he-man and Draken are almost full HPs, but they'll go on to the B side to get the plant. Well, let's see what they come up with. Meanwhile, let's see the kill feed. But well, Team CSGO is clearly struggling. None of the players of the team of CSGO have managed to get more than 10 kills. And Ransom gets another kill onto He-Man. And yes, Sasha, if it's 9-3, be aware, be, be very much aware of the fact that it's a curse in Valorant and well just just win this down just win this down Draken tagging out Devil Ninja Devil Ninja trying to just hover him with his satchels Draken gets the kill on to Devil Ninja and it's very much possible to win the 10th round for the team of Puck Stars he's holding his position with his operator on to the garden area but there is not much time left and the third round comes on to the team of CSGO Ransom with his 4k and a 9-3 Yet another time within double quotes. Is this the moment where the curse starts? Well, we have to wait and find out. Meanwhile, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Well, starting off with the first round of the second half, the pistol round, we can see that they're going for an aggressive, aggressive push onto the B side. And CSGO does not look with a good position. Akusa gets the kill onto Laugh Flame, but he man manages to get the kill onto CSGO. They're teeping out to go to the A side, but Akusa is sensing that there might be someone who is in the garden area, and he is absolutely right. Let's see who gets the kill. Let's see the smoker dip right here. Gets double dinked and gets the kill onto. He man, Ransom getting the kill onto Sasha, and it's a 4v2 situation out there in favor of the defense. Standing. Devil Ninja gets on big damn zero 4v1 situation out here. Well, Ransom just whiffed all the ghost shots out there, but Draken is stacked down very much. He's just 40 HP. Beautiful one tap to Devil Ninja. What a crispy shot it was. Well, he might think that both of the play players are in heaven but they are just camping this fight but Draken gets a kill on to Accuser and it's a 1v1 Draken being 10 HP and Miraki being 30 HP who will win the round who will just take this round away because of team CSGO gets the round man fair chance of winning the match because of the 9-3 curse in Valorant 
13 seconds remaining. Draken decides to go for the kill instead of plus. Draken gets the kill onto Miraki, and it's unbelievable. Pakistan's just secured an impossible round right here, and it's the 10th round of Team Park Stars against the team of CSGO. It seemed like CSGO didn't even want to win the round. They just threw away all... Man, it's unbelievable. It, this, this was not expected, but hats off to Drake and incredible stuff out there. Being just 10 HP, being just low on HP, you managed to win a round, a 1v3 out of yourself, which is commendable. But yeah, awesome. the scoreline is 10 to 3. It's 10 to 3 and looks very much difficult for Team CSGO at the moment to make a comeback and Laughlame becoming aggressive enough and gets the kill, the uh, ransom onto Laughlame and make it a 4v5 uh, in favor of the def defense, gets the plant. Spike planted. And Sasha gets the kill onto ransom, the trade coming in a little late but... Accusa getting the one tap onto Sasha getting the kill onto Draken and it's a 3v1 right there for the defenders and the attack is looking strong right here. Another round for the team of Pakistan's right here because it doesn't Okay, I think so Devil Ninja is AFK. So I think there will be a round rollback, but Okay, yeah. man, that was not necessary, but yeah, there comes the knife kill. So let's take a short break out here till Devil Ninja reconnects, and we will be right back. Stay tuned. If you go see
And we are back. There were some technical difficulties out here because of which we could not start the stream. But here we are. Does anyone have cards? And we are One back with the live stream, continuing with the match. And as we can see, He-Man just made a knife kill onto Ruku. And well, that was an incredible knife kill. But I don't think so. CSGO are looking fine at the moment because one of their members have turned off and have gone AFK. And it's a 4v5s. It will be a 4v5 since the beginning of the round itself. Let's see how CSGO manages to get even one round after this because it would be interesting if CSGO continues winning the rounds. The score right here is 11 to 3 on the first map of the three maps Bind and the second map which will be played will be Ascent and the third map Breeze. Well, let's look at it. Might be a late B. They found my trap. Well, no, it's a caterpillar type smoke out there by He-Man, brilliant work done and I think so the plant will come in, Ransom just waiting for them to come, Ransom gets a kill onto La Flame making it a 4v4, technically a 4v5 but they are the uh, Devil Ninja is AFK so we can't help about that but it's a 4v4, He-Man just hiding at the perfect spot behind the smoke and Miraki just trying to flash out the members and Will the retake come on handy? Akusha gets the kill on to He-Man. Miraki gets the kill on to Draken. Gets the kill on to Big Damn Zero and I think so. Yes, CSGO wins the fourth round for themselves. 
Well, Devil Ninja is AFK and we hope to see him back. But it doesn't look good at the moment for the team of CSGO even though they have won the previous round. The score line being 11 to 4. Let's look at the score, individual scores, where Draken is just sitting on the top with a huge number of 18 kills and 6 deaths, making his KD just 3. With La Flame with 17 kills, Sasha with 13, Big Damn Zero with 10 and He-Man with 9 kills. He-Man is just trolling the players out there and he's having so much fun on the grand finale. It's just a delight to the eyes. But Ransom on the other hand is trying their Wait, best. Sir, Ransom on the other hand is trying his best to win against Pakstars. Meanwhile, a few seconds to kill on to La Flame. Sasha gets a kill on to Meraki. And CSGO gets a kill on to Drake and make it a 2v2. Akusa gets the trade out. And this would be interesting because Ransom has the timing and gets the kill on to He-Man. Whips the shots on to Sasha. Sasha getting the kill on to Ransom and Akusa. The last man stand. But we forgot one thing. Devil Ninja is AFK. I think so. This is the round. This is the round where the match point has come. Is Sasha not aware that Devil Ninja is AFK? I don't think so, but still, let's see. It's not the caster's fault. I got we'll spot. go for the plant. It doesn't look good at the moment. Sasha being having no clue that he's AFK. And yes, one member of the team just mentions it. And it will be a 12th, the 12th round. Okay, that's some trolling out there. He's just wasting some time. Kills on the leg. Sasha gets the full kill of the Devil Ninja. Score becomes 12 to 4. Match point. It's just a normal day at a normal average Mumbai server <laughs> where the player gets AFK because of the potato servers that the Mumbai that the city of Mumbai has and Valorant, Valorant just has to do something, just has to come up with a plan just to make Indian servers as good as the other servers right there. So it's our appeal to Valorant and Riot Games, please fix your servers, please damn fix your servers. You want to Meanwhile, the match server. point, an easy match for the team of Puckstars, they have the first map on their hands given that they win this round and Ransom gets a kill on to Sasha. But he man instantly trades him out with a wonderful and crispy one tap. But CSGO trades he man out. The planter gets killed out there. They have the bomb inside them, but CSGO gets tagged with the operator of Big Damn Zero. Gets the heal. Laughlin gets the kill onto Miraki. Realizes he's on heaven. Big Damn Zero taking the advantage and killing onto CSGO and Akusa. The only man left, the only hope for the fifth round to stay alive. But it seems very, very difficult for the team of CSGO to stay alive at the moment. Just because Devil Ninja is AFK and Akusa is stuck at the moment alone. They have no idea where the player is. They'll just hold on to their nerves. They'll just hold on to their sights and wait for the sound of the spike diffuse. And Big Dan Zero spots Akusa. Akusa tries to shoot One down and remains. gets the wall bank kill onto La Flame. Realizes he's on Lamp's big damn zero. Full HP, but will he get the diffuse? The fake diffuse comes in. And the troll of big damn zero comes in. Pulls out the sheriff. And will just stick on to this. But Akusa with yet another omen outplay. Will the spike be detonated with ease. With two seconds remaining. Well, big damn zero. Big time you stop trolling right now because it's definitely not working even if they are 4v5. Throwing out the sheriff did not help them. And accuse are just unbelievable out here. Well, CSGO just managed to get another round without Devil Ninja, but as I said, as I mentioned earlier, Team Fox Stars are looking unbelievably strong out here. Well, the potential will this be the potential last round? Just go on the chat and. Meanwhile, La Flame tries to push onto the shower side. They don't have any guns, they are out of their economy. But still, Sasha bought a vandal. Let's see what. They believe gets tagged out by his own result. Found one. 
Well, the timing, the sheer timing, the plan comes in. Sasha gets the kill onto CSGO. Akusa gets the trade. Make it a 4 3v4. Akusa tagging down the person inside the lamps and. Well, gets the kill onto Big Damn Zero. Takes this sheriff out. Gets the trade. Gets traded out by He Man. And well, Miraki spotted. And He Man just killed out Miraki with his Molly. It's Ransom, the only person, and I think it's over. It's over for Team CSGO in this map. Man, what a match this was, Team Puckstars. Congratulations for winning the first map. And here come the trolls. <laughs> man with the night kill on two. Devil Ninja. Just another day at the Mumbai server. Valorant, what are you doing? Riot Games, please fix the damn servers. It's an appeal to us. So the first map of the grand finale, the best of three, has been won by Team Puckstars with a mammoth lead of 13 to 5. Sasha being the match MVP with 18 kills, Drake in with 19, La Flame 18, He Man 14, and Big Damn 0 11. Very much uniform, and that's what a team combination is. We'll be right back with the second map, so stay tuned and join us. Uh. Image to any of you, I will be logging to all his own to get to start with this. Okay, sir. Mics. Mics that has a two volume on people, mic on people. Okay, sir. It is most detailed. Okay, okay. How are you? Okay, okay.
First map, who can keep it? First map, who can keep it? Ascent. Ascent. 
Our first one, what is it? 13-4. First one. 13-5. 13-5. What is the map? Bind. Bind. Bind, right? 13-5. CS GO Pucksters Pucksters Black Wait Ito on us eh So what is now the message start to know? Are everyone ready? Wait 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 So all good, all cool. Let's start then. स्ट्रीम स्ट्रीम कर रहे हैं क्या देखो तो नहीं हो रहा है ना कोई नहीं हो रहा है ना ओए कोई एक स्ट्रीम खोल के देखना तो अगर है कि नहीं हो गया कि नहीं स्ट्रीम खोल के एक बार देखना तो यूट्यूब में हो रहा है कि नहीं Select your agent. Guys, welcome back again uh, to the second match, which is the second map picked by Team Pucksters, that is Ascent. So, as you guys were here, you already know that the first match was uh, held a while ago, and Team Pucksters managed to win it by a huge margin of 13, uh, 13 5. So, yes, so, let's see how this match goes. And just for the information, uh, if Pucksters manage to win this match, and so they will be crowned as champions. For any hopes to be alive for Team CSGO, they need to win this match. It's a, it's a must win game for them. Okay. So yes, so best of luck to them I guess. Uh, 
good luck both of the teams and please this time maintain the sportsmanship no more toxicity and please just try to keep it within yourself all right good luck both the teams फाइनल किल्स और फर्स्ट राउंड गोस टू टीम पक्सर्स थैंक्स टू ओमेन Thanks to Sasha who is playing Omen. Sasha with three kills and Draken who is playing KO. He's got two kills. Now it's an echo round for Team CS:GO. Let's see how they manage it. Everyone from Team Popsters were buying Spectres except Sasha. Devil Ninja is down to 48 HP. Um, that's the first peak was by Ransom Ransom for Draken and Laughlin gets the first peak for Buster. That one's dead. And now it's 2v3 situation. In favor of Team Buster. And Devil Ninja needs to go. Last player standing. Okay. So that's a nice shot by Sasha again, and Big Dem Zero getting the final kill. As the match is up to two nil for Team Pucksters. So I think it will be a full buy for Team CS:GO, and do the bonus for Team Pucksters. Anyone feeling generous? Thank you. Thank you. Kills out of nowhere. Two accusers uh, again. Accusers again with the two kills. Two very important kills for team. Let's go. Teleport. Draken is down to 81 HP. Last player standing. And again, so this is the first round for Team CS:GO. So they managed to get the first round of this second match. So. Uh For a brief change, I'll be joining my fellow co-host Shiri in this match. So yeah, I'll be moderating and I'll be casting at the same time. So please do not scold me for my lack of casting skills. Let's begin with the fourth round of this second match. So last lane, last lane, and last lane just enter the side and getting the first pick. The first pick. Miraki with the first pick for And it's 3v4 situation now 3v4 situation now for CS:GO The kids are getting laugh lane Shoot off power So now it's down to 2v2 situation Ransom getting the final 3k 
a very nice, a very strong, you know, mindset by Ransom. No, 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 you don't deserve my attention. So the score is now 2-2. Two, two. So the statistics as of now for both the teams are uh, for team CSGO, Devil Ninja and Ransom both had 5Ks, Accusa 3K, Miraki 2 and CSGO 1. Big them 0 with a 1 tap, Miraki. Miraki and Accusa getting two games of Team Bucksters. Very important for the Accusa again to beat them zero. Now it's a 4v2 situation and it's 4v3. Accusa dashing into trees. Okay, La Flame getting ransom now. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Last player standing. Accuser getting laugh lame but taken with the bait. So it's a 1v1 situation now. That's a nice shot by CSGO. Now the score as it stands is 3-2 in, in favor of Team CSGO. Alarm bot. Placing swarm grenade. Placing sentry. CSGO getting his setup ready for the sixth, ra uh, sixth round of the match of this first half. Okay, Miraki getting spotted by Draken. You can see Sasa pushing through the tree. Miraki taking a step back, not taking the risk, I guess. You should run. Cover going out. Okay, so Sasha getting the first peak. Sasha getting the first peak for team Buxers. Sasha getting another but Accusa took the trade so it's down to 3v4 now in favor of team Pucksters so they're setting up to plant Spike planted Accusa is down to 63 HP let's see her and, and big them zero getting a very important kill oh, and that's a very good try by CSGO but in the end, Human got the round for Team Pucksters. And the score is now down to 3-3. It's an even game till now. As you can see, that's a very hard push by Team Bucksters and Akira are getting two kills, two very important kills of Ransom and CSGO. And Team CSGO is down to just one last man, that's their omen. Uh, and that's a nice peak for Miraki. But he's down to 45 HP, so let's see what he can do. Okay, so that's... Big Dam Zero getting the final kill and getting the winning the round for Team Pucksters. The score is now 3-4 in favor of Team Pucksters. Okay, 
Just to remind you guys, this is a must win game for Team CSGO to keep their hopes alive for the final and the third match. The team boxers are looking for the same strategy again, the hard push. But this time, Ransom took the first pick to La Flame. And that's a nice pick by Miraki. Demons down. And now it's a 3v2 situation in favor of. And it's a 2v2 all of a sudden in. But Draken is down to just 1 HP, guys. Just 1 HP. Last player standing. Uh, and, and I guess Draken whipped. I guess he was nervous as he was just 1 HP. But that's a very good try by Draken. And the score is now 4 4. I think Accusa is playing a very important role not because he is the top fragger because he is just getting the 2 or 3 Ks in between the match, in between the round. Those 2 or 3 Ks are really important. You know, it decides whether you win the round or not. So Accusa is playing a very vital role for Team CSGO. Spotted him in. Okay, Accuser got him in, but Big Dem Zero took the trade of Accuser. Now the uh, the round has come to a 3v3 situation. Uh, but that's a camping by Sasha, and it's a nice pick, a very important pick for Sasha. Out of charges. Spike planted. Uh, Sasha just holding another position, ana remaining. another pick, another very important pick. But CSGO took the trade. But CSGO from uh, team CSGO itself is down to only 72 HP. So let's see what he can do. Big Damn Zero has both of his bombs in his place. And that's a nice... Final pick by Jekyll and the score is now 4-5 in favor of Team Pucksters. So after 9 rounds the score is 4-5. I, I can say that it's a very evenly poised game. It's a very even game till now. It's anyone's game now, but as I can, as you all can see, uh, Team CSGO with an eco round, with only CSGO buying a Spectre. Okay, they've entered. They've entered to market, and Laugh Lem got the first two picks of CSGO and Devil Ninja, and Laugh Lem getting his. Third kill of One this round. Accuser on the other hand getting him in with full HP. Not and that. And so after 10 rounds the final score is 4-6 in favor of Team Pucksters. Only 2 rounds left of this first half. Let's see if Team CSGO can manage to get these 2 rounds to go into the second half as 6-6 six, six for both the teams Accusa with an operator I think it's the first time he's using an operator in this first half so let's see if he can get the first pick face your fear you should run Accusa getting revealed the human with the first peak, he got Ransom. Ah. 
Himen with his second kill as well. And Devil Ninja with two very quick picks, but Big Dem Zero took the trade. One enemy remaining. And that's a nice pick by Sasha, a very important pick. I can say that uh, that was an omen div. And Akusia couldn't save the operator, so the round goes to Team Foster 4 7. And it's the last the round for the first half. Let's see if Team uh, CSGO can Please manage block. to get this round Thank to keep you. their hopes alive in this tournament. So here we go with the last round. And La Flame getting the first pick. What a nice use of the ult by La Flame. But Miraki getting the trade of La Flame. And Sasha with the operator to ransom. Now it's a 3v4 situation in favor of. And now it's 3v3 again. And then Himen getting the pick of Devil Ninja. And Zeken with a nice shot. And CSGO getting his opposite. Okay, so Draken has spotted KJ. Draken has spotted CSGO. They know where CSGO is now. They just have to defend it. But there's not much time left for CSGO, so... So I can pretty much say that this round also goes to and that's a very nice very nice shot by Jekin. So after the first half of this second game, the score is 4-8 in favor of Team Pucksters. It will take some comeback for Team CSGO to win this match and keep their hopes alive. Well it's a very unpredictable game, so you so the result is not out yet, so let's see what happens. All the best to team C CSGO and as well as Team Pucksters. Team Pucksters will be looking to hold this lead. So the first, so the very important round of every match is the pistol round. So both the teams will be looking to get this round no matter what. So a very calm and composed play by team CSGO, they are not pushing hard, they don't want to take the risk I guess of giving the first peak to team Pucksters. Omen with the smoke and that's a very nice peak but accuser took the trade of Sasha. Okay, accuser with, Akiza with another pick, Himen with another pick and now it's 3v3 situation and La Flame with two very important and quick picks. This is what I was talking about guys, La Flame getting 2-3k's in between the rounds which are very important for me, according to me it is very important. So La Flame doing the job for his team. So team Puxter with Spectres now and full shields but for team CSGO it will be an echo round. If team CSGO manages to get this round then it will be a very huge, huge plus for them. It will be a huge confidence booster for them. Last lane and Sasha getting two early picks. And the round is over as it was just started some seconds ago, the round is over. The round is already over guys.
the score after first two rounds of the second half the score is 4-10 in favor of team pucksters so you guys can see how confident team puckster is really all their players especially la flame getting two three picks at least two picks each round so i guess we all can agree that la flame has been the mvp for this match till now and i guess it won't change a bit when the match ends as well team cs go looking to enter at a side but omen and his smokes are holding them off okay cs go pushing to heaven already i guess but himen and sasha getting two picks standing okay so it's down to 1v4 situation now in favor of oh. so the score is 411 now only puckster team puckster just need two more rounds to be crowned as champions of this tournament and it will take some comeback for team cs go to be in the game for the third match anything can happen guys just stay tuned don't leave the stream yet just stay tuned okay, laugh lem with the first pick again as i mentioned laugh lem with the again with the second pick can he get the third pick as well So the TV fight situation and all of a sudden the round is over before it even started guys and that's how confident that's how confident team posters are really So team posters just need one more round guys just one more round to be crowned as champions Will it be the final round of this tournament or team cs go can hold them off and show us some miracles all of the rounds in the second half have been won by team pucksters and miraki with an important first pick for team cs go and draken with a and laflin getting judged in a judge on accusa and ransom getting two very important picks last player standing ransom and K uh, cs go getting three to combine getting three important kills for team cs go and that was indeed a very good round for team cs go but they need to maintain this level of consistency to in order to win all these rounds they need seven more rounds to go overtime to go to mm. overtime So we can see Sasha and Himen both using operators. I guess not only two of them, at least all of them, all of them are using operator. This is not what we see, what we normally see in a tournament, guys. But is their confidence level? So, guys, we need to push those. Cheers, go looking to Alf. Himen with another very precise shot to CS go and the match is down to now 3v4 situation in favor of team pucksters Devil Ninja getting two very important kills Devil Ninja with the third kill as well Let's now let's see what Himen can do I don't think team CS go players will be pushing him and I don't think they'll be taking any kind of risk. Uh, so Miraki getting him and through the smoke. So it was again another nice round for team CS go. But it's a very long way now. They need another 6 rounds to go into overtime.
Now team CS go looking to enter A side. Here. That works. Here. Here. Devil Ninja getting blinded by Chaos, but Miraki took the trade and again Laflim took the trade for Team Pucksters. The game is down to now 4v4 and Sasha with a nice one tap, but CS go taking the trade for Sasha. Now it's a 2v3 situation in favor of Team Pucksters. Laflim down to 70 HP. Human down to 60 HP. On the big damn zero with full HP. Spike planted. Marked one. One enemy remaining. A love flame. We can do it, but the user took the bait, and it's a one v one situation now. And and there it is, guys. There it is. Human getting the last peak and winning this game. For no Team Pucksters, only if he defuses it. And so here it is, guys. We have come okay. to an end, I'm and Pucksters. Team Pucksters have been crowned so as the champions. So congratulations, Team Pucksters, for being the champion. Congratulations, congratulations to everyone who participated in this tournament, and a big congratulations to Team Pucksters for winning uh, this tournament. Thank you, Team CS:GO, for uh, participating in this tournament all the way across from Bangalore. And yeah, kita mana selalu Bangalore. So thank you, thank you for participating and thank you for putting up a good fight against the Pakistans. So we'll contact you soon for your prize money, that is twelve k and eight k respectively. So please stay in touch. Till then, next time. Thank you. So here it is, guys. Thank you so much for being with us and being on this stream and supporting us, guys. It's been a pleasure to host you all. So it was a very good game, guys. Congratulations, especially to Team Pucksters and kudos to Team CS:GO for trying their level best. It was indeed a very wonderful game, and thank you so much to everyone for joining. Have a good day ahead. Bye bye. वही प्राइस मनी ट्वेल्थ के हो गुल नहीं Can I just adjust, adjust this one?